Good morning, good morning, beautiful Saturday morning. It's time to go fuel up combines. Look at the yard. One day, one day of corn harvest. And a little bit of dew and rain overnight. It's drifted up in front of the shop. Anytime you open a door, it just right in. We're adding up, fuel up the uh, combines, grain cart. We're gonna get rained out today though. There's no doubt about it. What do you got? You stealing your kid's food again? <laughs> the wife's gonna see you. Yeah, she will. But Mini muffins. Look how nice they look. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will work. We parked close enough. We think we can use Thunder to fill that combine and the truck to fill this one. As you can see, it's less than ideal harvest conditions here. With that being said, it'll work, but it is going to rain us out. Like there's no doubt. It's just a matter of what time. So race against time. Pump it. They need depth too, though. So Be careful. There's corn stock there, look out. That's it! That's it! Oh, he's gonna reach. All right, I'll get this fired up. He's got a load on him, so he can fill the first truck before we even start. Get the rounds going. Quad tracks make such weird sounds when they start. Let's see if this works. There it is, the auto roll tarp feature. So I was told that the auto roll, roll tarp is an option for guys like wheat and stuff. When they get in these massive fields, they like to tarp the cart on windy days because it'll actually blow the wheat out of the cart. I, I, that's what I was told. So that's what the auto roll tarp feature is. Plus it's really cool and simple and nice. I'm gonna park one row closer to you. We're five rows apart. If I park four rows apart, this'll work. Smart. This'll work perfect. Look at us learning. All right, fueled up, theft up. I grease 36 grease zerks on that thing. Every day you're supposed to grease it. I figured it didn't feel like we did a lot yesterday, but we ended up doing about 190 acres. So I figured I might as well grease it, especially since it's the first time of the season. morning entrance to the cart right Make so sure we've been still here. messing with the gate so they're these are the gates that slide open close with hydraulic this thing you can choke down open up so it's loading heavy to the front yeah so he needs to open some at the front a little bit more so it flows more there maybe close a couple back here a little bit corn behind it. It's okay, watch, I'll just crush it. <laughs> Look at Brody. <laughs> Brody! All right. Yeah, it's duck opener. There's uh, people everywhere. People everywhere. everywhere. Pickups. Anytime you see a cattail slough, which is everywhere around here. Oh, there went the socket. He's got a small arm. I can't get through. I've seen this in a movie, you have to dislocate your thumb to get it through there. <laughs> I think we're ready to go pick some corn. Oh my. We're, I don't want to do that right now, please. I want to just go combine. No. No.
helps to have the hopper open. Okay, let's try this again. I have that turn on so I can make sure my bubble up auger is turning whenever I turn the separator on. Keep that on. That button. Auto button. It's just that easy. Something that takes a long time to get used to is how loud corn is in this cab versus soybeans. Soybeans, it's really nice and quiet in here. In corn, especially this high moisture, 27% corn, 26, 27, it just becomes this low growling sound of the corn getting ground off. And there it is, it's coming in. It's always good to get a dump off in the morning. Wish it was sunny. I bet the guys that are duck hunting are enjoying this weather though. They like to fly nice and low when it's cloudy, hazy. Kinda wish I was doing that, but I do enjoy combining corn. Oh, we're empty already. This wet corn takes forever to unload. Chris is driving truck today and he just got back to the field and said, I don't know, it's pouring by the farm. I told him I put my umbrella up over the field. I don't like this, right next to the rocks. Hopefully Duggo didn't plant over anything. I should, should be good, but you never know. You never know. Well, we've jumped the road, got into some 95 day. We finished up that quarter. This one's a little more cut up, time consuming, but it's about the same moisture. So we went up a little later day but it was planted six days earlier and we're the same, if not just a tad bit drier, but still knocking it out. I haven't had one little rain shower come through, but not enough to shut us down. That's what I love about corn harvest. I would have, well, you would have never been combining today anyways if it was soybeans. front of the tire the key the key fell out and then the pin fell out so I need a new pin they can carry it off the the that, then it will get right over you know how fast this machine moves <laughs> all right we gotta fill trucks and look at me look at me No foul. At least nothing's broke. Where is he going now? I, I'm comfortable. I can't move, Eric. I'm really not sure what the purpose of backing up was. Whatever. This is a massive traffic jam. is kind of avoiding us but look what's happening down in Iowa that looks like potential flat corn the way that things bowed the bow echo oh boy just glad it's not here so look who showed up hello <laughs> and then, I'm not getting into it, then she uh, she brought the rain with as you can see I always do that it always storms or something bad happens whenever they come up well, it's a good thing we're down to the last eight. For some reason, we have eight rows left. Because we need there. to wait on the back. Jeez, he's needy today. See when the scale flashes? That means he's loaded one side too heavy, either the front or the back. Oh yeah, there's the rain. She's coming down pretty good now. I, can, I can't see anything. You can't see anything? No, between your hair. Oh. <laughs> and then the window now that is what? I don't know why you always feel when I get so nervous. This might be pushing the limits. I know you guys maybe can't see how hard it's raining, but it is coming off the cab. 
Yeah, it's time to be done. Last eight rows. She's sticking in pretty good. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> this is, yep, it has really turned it up now. So Jane was on her way home, which is south of the farm here, and she went through some pretty nasty hail. Uh, so there goes some more beans if it comes this way. So we're we're on the driveway. We're gonna get in the shop, try to get people's vehicles in in case that. Look at how much water is coming through the yard. Oh my! Brody's hopper should be real nice and full. This should help tillage. I'm not gonna lie. That's something else, boys. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of water in here. There's a little water in that combine. It's been about an hour and a half since the last clip. We got three and a half inches. So we're gonna go look. It's still downpouring. See what it looks like. All right, it's Monday morning. We ended up getting 4.2 inches of rain. So we probably will not be harvesting today for sure. Maybe not tomorrow, just due to ground conditions are wet. We're letting her soak in, but we Case came out and fixed this tractor up. The uh, adjustment bolt for the lining was all messed up. They came out and take the track all apart. Got that fixed. So we're putting this back onto the Pro Force and gonna hook the 9RX up to the 2596 because that's not done scraping or we're not even close to done with soybeans. So we don't need two carts and soybeans. We're gonna just run the 9RX if we get into some more corn this week so we have a second grain cart. This is my third transmission fault. So we had to use the skid loader to hold the hitch down because we got some fertilizer on the thing so then it gets tail heavy and the mechanic that worked on this drove down the road with the door open look at this I expect better guys come on like literally like a bomb of dust went off in here all right that thing's hopefully back up and running the tractor that is and that'll be Good for the season, no more breakdowns. Okay, we're gonna go get the 9R hooked up to the 2596. So last year we ran a 2096 on that. That was a demo that has been since sold. Hello. Seed tender. You wanna that, park it away? That Unverfurth seed tender? Yeah, big boy. That, that big 90, what is it? No, it's a 49, no, 55? No, it's a 5,000. Oh, that's the 5,000. Okay, so maybe we should take it over to Milts. Yeah, would be a bad idea. Just don't park it behind anything. Yeah, we'd have to get at it, but maybe we don't need to, yeah, maybe it can go over there and okay. clean up the area. So now we have to reorganize the shed just because we've put this door here where it's normally right here where is where the seed tender goes. Well, now there's a door here and trucks are gonna be pulling in and out. So we want to maybe put it at the head shed across the road. So here's what we've come to get. And it is packed in here really tight. This thing is like got a big dinosaur tail. So when you turn it, you know, could really remodel some stuff and I'd rather not wreck this. Does. We got everything hooked up. Uh, we're greasing these two units because they've been worked on. Uh, this hitch was on the 2096 that a neighbor actually bought. And we put that back on the 25 in case this cart goes down or tractor goes down. We can run this in soybeans, still pull our head trailer. So that's something we fabbed up. And this is what became of it. This is now a factory option hitch, which is a little bit more beefed up than ours, as you can see. 
Uh, you pull this pin, this will fold down, and it even has a wiring plug in there. So that is, I wonder where they got the idea for that. What happened? I just found the mud flaps from the 79 Impala. When I was a small kid, I remember the snowstorm that we were in and I uh, got stuck in a big drift trying to get home from town. And, well, it'd be easier to show them. They, they were made out of aluminum and when you backed up in this deep snow, they, I suppose, they're still good, you know. Let's get that little bend Look at how up. narrow it is. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's all you needed. You want to explain what we got here, Brody? It's wheels wheels so this was another big iron event that happened this is what eric and i got done <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try them out on the side by side they're for side by sides i believe they make them now for skid loaders obviously the first i seen these they were for mowers now, mowers side no. by sides skid loaders yes so golf carts Brody got us hooked up with these we're going to put them on and see what we think of them you ready? Golf carts? Yeah, they have they make them for golf carts. <laughs> <laughs> well they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're basically like added suspension. Is the idea. Jump it! <laughs> Run over the corner! That's hot! <laughs> it's pretty cool. No, it didn't lose its air. It's actually impressive. Yeah, actually. Weird. It feels different. You gotta drive it. Definitely. All these washouts here really make for some good testing of these. So the idea of these, from my understanding, is obviously smoother ride, airless tires so you don't have to worry about flats. Definitely feels a little more spongy in the turns, but like this big hole here, it's a ton more smooth. bad you gotta be kidding me oh man well we did get a lot of stuff done I think we're finally ready to go when it's ready to go agreed I think we're ready all right well maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow all right guys I think that's gonna be a wrap today check out link in the description for those tweels or just google tweels and check them out they so far look pretty cool I wish they had a hubcap in the middle, which I haven't asked the guy if you can get those or not. Yeah, looks pretty sweet. Going to be a nice ride. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.